president taking center stage almost every day in the White House Coronavirus Task Force briefings. But according to The New York Times, aides and allies increasingly believe the president's daily briefings are hurting him more than helping. Joining me now, MSNBC political analyst Elise Jordan, a contributor to Time magazine, also a former aide to the George W. Bush White House and State Departments. Elise, always good to see you, my friend. Let's get into this here, because as you know, not only do these aides and allies say these briefings are hurting the president to some degree, they're also urging him to step aside, let the experts take center stage. Are they right? And is this something you could potentially see the president do, given what we know, which is his love of being the center of attention in all this? Alex, I may think they're right, but you're right in that Donald Trump loves attention so much that he is not going to be able to forego a two-hour campaign advertisement every day. So I assume that we'll continue to see more of the same after the first report appeared that some Republicans were disconcerted about his behavior at the podium. You saw Donald Trump on the defensive on Twitter talking about his ratings, comparing mm -hmm. himself to The Bachelor, comparing himself to reality TV. And so this behavior will probably continue. You, I'm frankly, far more concerned by reporting from the White House and the Post yesterday saying that administration officials think that perhaps it's better for Donald Trump to not be completely leading this effort from the White House and for it to go to a state level for his political prospects. And yeah. to me, that's very, very concerning. You know, I mean, even the Wall Street Journal editorial board, I mean, it is certainly known to be Republican friendly. It is publishing this piece titled Trump's Wasted Briefings. They say if Mr. Trump thinks these daily sessions will help him defeat Joe Biden, he's wrong. They say Americans will judge Trump by the results of this crisis, not by how well he says he did. The president, as you said, he goes and he fires back. He, he talks, look at this, he talks about how the journal is forgetting to mention the ratings for the White House briefings. I mean, is that all he cares about? What, at what point do you think the substance of what all of us are watching matters as much as the fact that they've tuned in? Alex, the country, unfortunately, has a president who has no empathy. And so I think the gravity of this crisis isn't fully hitting Donald Trump. And he is more concerned with what he's always concerned with, Donald Trump, with his interest and not the national interest. And we would see a different posture from him and from this White House if the overwhelming concern were not Donald Trump's electoral prospects and the welfare of the American people. Let me take a look with you at this new CBS poll in which it shows 52 percent of Americans are feeling that the president is doing a bad job handling the coronavirus crisis. That is more than the 47 percent who say that he's doing a good job. The people who feel the president is doing a good job say their big reasons are that the virus is being contained and that doctors are getting the supplies they need. But those who feel that Trump is doing a bad job, Elise, think that the opposite is in fact happening. So look, we're all watching these same briefings. We all see the same stats. Why is it that there's such different perspective on what's happening? The polls on how Donald Trump is handling the coronavirus pandemic have been fascinating just in that they're so much like any other political poll and are divided along polar, the polarized lines of the political class these days. And so you see the polarization in how people perceive the crisis. Donald Trump has this small window of 5% with his own approval rating. He hovers from about 40 to 45%. And he doesn't, it doesn't matter what's really going on in the world. He really manages to hang tight there. I would say, though, the numbers that I would be concerned about if I'm the Trump White House would be how little he gained in approval rating. Usually in time of great crisis, you look at President George W. Bush after 9-11, mm -hmm. and he gained 30 points in approval rating. There is a rallying together cry, and we just don't see that. It's a sign of just how polarized we are. But I also think it's disturbing for the Trump White House when you consider how European leaders, their, their approval ratings have gone up in this time of crisis. Okay.